Hi everybody, it's Stephanie with Planning with Peanutty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So I ordered a few of those Happy Planner Stitch, Aloha Stitch items off of Amazon. There are three items, only bought two of them. I didn't get the large notebook because I figured I knew what it was, but I really wanted to check out the planner and of course the sticker book. So let me show you guys the planner. It is totally different than a Happy Planner I've seen before. So the first thing I noticed right away is this different cover. Now it looked a little on the large side to me, so I pulled a classic happy planner I just bought out. It's the same number of discs. It is the classic size. It just looks bigger, if you can see what I mean. So I pulled the cover off of one of my classic planners, put that on there. They are the exact same size. So what the difference is, is the covers that we're used to have that designed artwork and then they're laminated. So this one, as you can tell, it's not laminated. It's actually that kind of frosty plastic. So you could see there's some design art in here and then it's laminated and there's that clear quarter of an inch all the way around. And this one does not have that. It's just that frosty kind of plastic, which I have not seen yet from the Happy Planner, but maybe that's what they're bringing with Amazon. And then we get this cardstock sheet and the one side is white and it's white because that cover is see-through or transparent. So you could see if we didn't have this sheet in here, you know, whatever that first sheet was would just show right through. So not as cute as having that solid white. So kind of interesting that they did make it transparent where they did need to have a solid white sheet on the other side. So interesting choices there. <laughs> but you do get that cute stitch, Aloha stitch aesthetic there on the inside. So let me just go ahead and peel this little plastic cover off. And then we do get stickers because it is an undated planner. We do get stickers enough to date all the months for the year. So you could see each little half sheet of stickers is a month. So we get enough numbers to date that month, a couple uh, headers, and then the important and priority kind of stickers. And then we do get some birthdays and a seasonal sticker and a shopping sticker for each month. So you can see that seasonal sticker, like January, it's gonna be snowflake. February, we've got the heart and then some more bullet points and flags. And then you get enough of those to do the whole year. So let's see, we've got shamrock, Easter, rain, maybe popsicle, and then some little icons. All right, little seasonal icons and a couple birthdays for each month, which I really appreciate having a big family. And then you could even do a little trip each month, the little suitcase sticker. All right, so a whole year's worth of stickers to help you date it. And then we get this sheet that looks like the currently page, but nothing on it at all. So I kind of like that it's plain. You do get that Aloha Stitch theme down the center, which is really cute. Because I do like a colorful, fun planner. And I forgot to point out that the discs are solid blue discs. These are not that standard Happy Planner disc with the heart in them. They don't even have the Mickey ears or maybe some kind of stitch shape, which might have been fun. But just solid blue. So here we do have the solid kind of plain uh, currently page is what it looks like. And then we go straight into the perpetual calendar. So I did notice we are missing a title page. We're missing that page that says this happy planner belongs to Stephanie. You know, we're missing that page. We don't get it in here. So that's kind of interesting. We skipped over that. But you do get this perpetual calendar. And then we do jump into what looks like is going to be the pages before each monthly calendar. So we get this page lined with the Aloha stitch down the middle. And then here is that dashboard again, except this time we have these two little circles of like goals and important. Um, but this page did not have those. I kind of wish they would just leave them plain because I like to set my own agenda for these boxes. And I would just ignore those circles anyway, so that's okay. All right, so then we get our monthly view, and these are undated, so you will need to come in. You could write or use pen or use those stickers they give you to date those. And then that is it for this planner. So you get the monthly view, and then you get that view of kind of notes, that page of, it looks like the currently page, and then right back into the next calendar month. So that is this planner you guys it's really I, i'm gonna call it interesting 
because you get the monthly view, a couple kind of, I don't want to call them dashboard because that's a separate layout, but some pages to help you with that month. And then that's it. And then you get four dividers. And these are also different dividers than we're used to. We're used to those paper dividers with kind of the plastic coated tab. These I'm going to call cutting board dividers. Have you guys, or not cutting boards, kind of the cutting sheets. Have you seen those cutting sheets that are this thin? And like you set one aside for vegetables, one for meat, you know, so there's no cross contamination, but they're the four different colors. I'm not saying you could use these as cutting mats, but that's just what they remind me of. And we get four of those and then all the filler paper. So now the filler paper is really cute, but this to me is going to feel more like a happy notes notebook than a planner. Cause look at all the filler papers, way more than the planner pages. And those planner pages are pretty sparse. It's just the calendar and a couple kind of planning sheets. And then we get that back cover. The other side of that's going to be plain white so that the back cover still looks nice. Um, but this book, I got to say, is very interesting to me. Um, I actually don't keep it, <laughs> but I did want to check it out to see what it was like. I actually thought it was just going to be a stitch planner, but it's very interesting. It's almost planner slash notebook. But I got to tell you, for the price, the notebooks are about half as much as this. So we did get the stickers. We got four dividers. You do get the planner pages and then all that filler paper. But this is an interesting one for me. It's not the happy planner we used to that gives you the whole year worth of planner and week monthly and weekly pages. This is monthly pages only and then filler paper. So to me, it seems like the price should be maybe not half this much because those notebooks, it's just the paper and dividers. But man, it's this one's tough for me. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It is absolutely adorable. If you love Stitch, I could see you being fine with it. I do love it. It's really cute, but interesting. Let me know. And so let's flip through the sticker book now. Let me start at the beginning. And I do keep the Stitch sticker book because I just think it's a lot of fun. And I think he's so cute. And I do wish that there were more of the characters like Lilo and her sister and and the gang. And I wish we got a little more variety with Stitch, like some of the Elvis, like with the guitar, but it's still fun. <laughs> and more quotes from the movie, which I would appreciate. But there are a couple, so I'll show you if I spot them as I'm flipping back through this again. But you can see it's very colorful. We get that Aloha theme, so perfect for summer or vacations, or just if you love the beach. And a ton of Stitch. So you almost need more coordinating stickers so that when you decorate a stitch page, he's not on every little sticker, <laughs> but it is a lot of fun. And you can always coordinate with other sticker books. And then that pretty uh, floral theme, Aloha floral theme. And the pineapples are really cute. Yeah, this one's a lot of fun. Then we get these little stitch icons. Oh, skipped a page, sorry. And then those circles, which I don't use very often, but I'm going to try to be better at using those. All right. And then I love these little icons, well, the little stitches with the little quotes, but like weird but cute. Today looks bright, just relaxing. I think those are fun. But again, wish there was a little more from the movie, like cute, don't forget cute and fluffy, things like that. And we, those are on a clear sticker background. And then we get the little flags. And some longer stickers. Be brave, a lot of wild stickers. I think these look like envelopes. And then I love where Stitch is peeking in closer. Those look more like that size four. Is that the dashboard that those fit perfectly? Looks a little more horizontal. Let me know if you know the exact box those fit in perfectly, because I know they're very specific. Very cute. 
And then here we do get Ohana means family. So I absolutely love those. I wish we had a few more of those because that is really sweet from the movie. Some Hello Weekend. Some appointments. Important. And yeah, trying to check out that foil there. Look at that holographic foil. Hooray for today. Good vibes. Just be kind. Chase your dreams. Oh, that's cute. With that wave. Cute and feisty. But in the movie, isn't he cute and fluffy? Don't forget, it's cute and fluffy, isn't it? Let me know if you remember better than I do. I haven't watched it in a few years. But I'm loving these fun stitch stickers. Making sure I didn't skip a page. And then we get some larger stitches with the pineapples. This page is on a paper backing. So you could flip that one around and then he's just on one foot. <laughs> Two of those. But this one's actually on the clear. Yeah. And then a sheet of the smaller stitches on the clear paper sticker backing. Oh, two of those. And then two sheets of the Aloha florals. And those are on clear. Wait, paper. This one's the clear. And that's going to do it. So the sticker book, definitely love. Definitely am keeping the planner. Not so sure. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. It looks like they took, um, you know, some steps to make it cheaper. But then it's a very expensive planner. I'll put links to both in the description below and to that uh, notebook that I'm not including. Did you order any of the stitch items from Amazon? But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Click like if you like this video. Subscribe to see more. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.